So, we're in Chinatown <laughs> now, and we've decided to really treat ourselves to something nice. Here, in Chinatown, where I bought it speaking Chinese, I have some soy sauce mochi. Are we keeping mm. that in? Mmm. Mm. It oh, it's really sweet. <laughs> it's like sweet but not. Mmm, no, it's nice. Good grub, good grub. from Okayama. Okayama on the train. Uh, Kobe is a port town which is known for a few things around Japan including its Arima onsen which come in two varieties. There's the silver onsen which is carbonated and then there's the famous gold onsen which is a yellow kind of brown colour because, yeah, because of the iron and the salt mixture that's in it. So it's also very famous. Kobe is also famous for uh, having the first mosque that was ever built in Japan and several other things which I can't remember. We'll discover on our route. Yeah, so today we don't have any specific plans, we're just gonna uh, go around the city, see what we can see, um, and discover what we can Kobe. discover. Discover <laughs> Kobe. minutes in the mosque and while it is quite a small building and quite a small prayer space it's quite nice to go in and have a look. Um, the guy working on reception was telling us about the history of the mosque so it was built in 1935 so it's a lot older than either of us expected it but um, not only that the really interesting thing was that it, uh, when the city was bombed during the war in 1945 basically in this area only the church and the mosque survived the bombing so lots of the locals said it was a bit of a miracle. We're currently at the Port of Kobe Memorial Park, uh, which is an important place because it's a memorial to the people who died in the 1995 earthquake, which killed over 40,000 people in this city. which is an all-vegan bakery here in Kobe and apparently they do donuts and waffles. goodies from the bakery. It's more of a sweet shop, isn't it? A bit of a, like yeah, a... Uh, we're going to pick one at random because we've got uh, five different things to try. Okay, Danny, are you ready? Ooh, what is it? Oh, it's green tea waffle. Ooh, we've got a green tea waffle. And it's nice because everything is wrapped in paper as well, which is very unusual in Japan. Okay. How is it? Like green tea. Is it nice? It's all gluten-free as well, isn't it? that gluten-free feel. Mm hmm. Mm. Oh, very soft. Mm. Oh, look, it's like, it's like a museum or something. Or tickets. Oh, it's an English house, look. That's so funny. We've 
decided to make our way back to Okayama because it's really not nice going back in the dark and there's very few buses going from Okayama City to our little town. Um, we've had a nice taste of Kobe. I feel like I quite like it. Are we going the right way? No. <laughs> We've had a nice little taste of Kobe. Yeah, it feels like quite a nice place to come. Um, any impressions that you've had? I mean, it's a bit more um, mixed. I think there's more choice in different like, non Japanese stuff, or which is like. Yeah. And all that kind of stuff. I think you get a feel of it being a port city historically. Um, because it was one of the first cities that was opened up to Westerners and I think that's why you get all the different choices and yeah. uh, all the different things going on from different cultures and cuisines um, and things like that. I think the only thing, if we had had more time or a couple of days, I really would have liked to try the, um, the silver and the white onsen. No, the silver and the gold onsen. But um, that will have to wait till the next time we come to Japan, I think. Unless we come back to Kobe again. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so I think it's really worth coming to, visiting and having a little explore. If you're in Japan for a while and you've done maybe and visited some of the more major places. It's still a big city. It's still the sixth biggest city in Japan. <laughs> there's still over a million people here, so there's still quite a lot to do, really. Yeah. Yeah, so thumbs up for Kobe.